All right, so Max Sonia asks, what do you think of the Batman Beyond news and what would you like to see with Batman Beyond going forward? Um, I assume that you are talking about the news that came out right when I um, right when you uh, left me that question. I guess that's the um, the uh, Blu-ray release of Batman Beyond. Um, I I think it's great. I don't own a Blu-ray player. I I don't. um, I don't watch I I don't own physical copies of things anymore. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of a weird old guy. I've kind of just completely adopted everything that that's happened technologically and I guess all that being all those years of being raised on sci-fi really impacted me. I I'm, I'm like I'm like a Picard where you have um access to every single book ever written on your computer, but you have like a, a small collection of your favorite books. Uh, in hard copy behind your uh, behind your sofa, your reading sofa. That's that's how I that's how I look at it. So, um, but I do like the fact that um, it's got you know that remastered because you know the the redone color grading and everything looks really great, and that means that I will have better clips to use when I talk about things like that in my YouTube videos. <laughs> um, um, but uh, and also I def I must have that Funko Pop figure. It, that that's coming with the box set that that uh, you can you can keep everything else i can watch the clip i remember i want that funko pop figure um yeah, now if you're talking about like some of the rumors and speculation and stuff i just it seems like a lot of of rumor has dropped with regards to batman beyond we like at one point we thought we were getting a batman beyond movie with an asian american actor i don't know who I don't know who made that up. Warner Brothers has said that was not true. Um, yeah, you know, like my feeling is is I do I, I definitely do want to see a live action Batman Beyond someday, but I would first like to see a consummate Batman film in live action first. And I feel like Batman films, while they've been successful, while I won't say they haven't been good. I don't think they've been like the definitive Batman like what Batman the Animated Series gave us. And I think the re- part of the reason that Batman Beyond is so good is because he is referencing it. he is uh, the legacy of a really interesting Batman. And if you do a Batman Beyond film before doing the best most successful version of batman you can do and not not having a connection to that i don't think that batman beyond films will be as good as it can be um and i feel that way largely about the dceu as a whole um and any of the movies that dc is making that are not connected to the dceu I don't think any of those films, while some of them are really good, are as good as they can be. I loved Wonder Woman. I didn't think I would like Aquaman. I loved Aquaman. I haven't seen Shazam yet, but I heard it's pretty good. It probably is. I probably will like it when I see it, knowing me. Um, but they, they, I loved Man of Steel. That's one of my favorite Superman films, uh, even though there's like little things here and there I would have I would have not done. Uh, but, uh, you know, I don't even care if they make a movie that I don't think is that good, that I don't necessarily like, as long as they are consistent, as long as they do, um, as long as they have a vision, pick that vision and stick to that vision. And that doesn't seem to be what uh, WB is doing. WB seems to be being, seems to be being very reactionary to their films are like does this one work no okay let's try something else does this one work yes okay we'll do more of that oh we did too much of that okay we'll stop doing that you know they haven't done like they haven't copied marvel in the way that matters i say this all the time you don't have to make the same type of movies that marvel is making but you shouldn't make them following the same pattern that they are making and that is and they're seeing a little bit of this success accidentally Make the solo movies first, then bring them together in a team movie. And that's where they're, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm 
completely positive that this is where they're screwing up, that they uh, could have so much more success if they made the solo superhero films first and then brought them all together. I still think they could do that. But I have this very sneaking suspicion that they are um, thinking that only solo superhero films work, and so we should stop doing the team-up films. And that's completely the wrong lesson to learn. And I feel like, look, look at Marvel, look at what you just did. You are learning all the wrong lessons from these things. So um, while a Batman Beyond film would be super mega awesome and it would probably look spectacular with with the way we can do things uh with the technology that we have to make uh, uh future tech look so realistic to make people flying look so realistic um i don't know if it would resonate or be as good as it could be if they d if they did not connect if they do not connect it to a consistent superhero universe with a solid vision I think we're kind of past that era where we can do superhero movies and not connect them to the franchises that they are so strongly connected to, especially someone who is literally the legacy of a famous superhero. I don't think you can do that. And you also miss out on all the opportunities to, to say, well, I wonder what Superman is doing in this time period. You know, you miss out on, a, on an opportunity to, to, to do Superman Beyond. You miss out an opportunity to show Cairo or the the JLU um, interp uh, the the future interpretation. You miss out an opportunity to do a lot of the things that made Batman Beyond so interesting, was because it had that old universe to connect to. But say, here's how everything's changed. How everything changed was a big part of what made Batman Beyond work. So yeah. So also good question, Max. Thanks for leaving that one for me.